In this problem, we're going to learn how to calculate the solids loading rate for dissolved air flotation thickener. Well, let's go to the board and see how to work this problem. The problem reads, a DAF thickener used to thicken waste activated sludge has been operated 24 hours a day and 7 days a week. All of the waste activated sludge is pumped to the thickener. In order to save energy and labor, you plan to switch to one eight hour shift per day, seven days a week. Use the data below to calculate the solids loading rate in pounds per square foot per hour to the DAF unit. And then they gave us the following information. They gave us the dimensions of the DAF, uh, including the volume or the, the depth so we could calculate the volume. But in this problem, we don't need the volume, we're just concerned with the surface area of the DAF. So we use the 12.5 feet width and the 38 foot length to calculate that surface area. Then they also gave us the aeration basin volume and the total final clarifier volume. And then they gave us some other values such as the final effluent suspended solids, the mixed liquor suspended solids, which we're going to use. Because what's happening here is we're taking the waste activated sludge that's being pumped uh, to the DAF thickener and we want to know how much that is. So we're going to use our MCRT formula to solve this problem because that has a, a term in it that accounts for the waste activated sludge. So we'll need some of this information to solve the problem. But first, let's solve for the area of this DAF unit. Okay, we're looking for the pounds per square foot per hour. That's our target. But calculating the area, it's simply length times width. And the values we use here are the 12.5 feet and the 38 feet. So we plug that in and do the math. And we find that the surface area of this DAF is 475 square feet. Now notice what we're looking for. We're looking for pounds per square foot per hour. So part of our answer is right here, 475 square feet. Well now we need to calculate how many pounds per hour of waste activated sludge is being pumped to the DAF. And to do that, we're going to use our MCRT formula. Now notice, they gave us the target MCRT of 5.5 days. So we know what that is. They also gave us enough information to calculate how many pounds of mixed liquor suspended solids are in the secondary system. That's the combination of the aeration basin and the uh, final clarifier. We don't know pounds per day of the waste activated sludge, but that's what we're looking for. So we're going to rearrange this formula to solve for the pounds per day of the waste activated sludge. So when we rearrange this formula, and again, if you don't understand how to rearrange this formula, uh, the expanded uh, program that we have available covers this concept. But rearranging for pounds per day of waste activated sludge, we see that it's equal to the pounds of mixed liquor sus suspended solids divided by the MCRT and then we subtract out the pounds per day leaving the final clarifier in our effluent. So plugging in our numbers, our pounds per day of waste activated sludge is, uh, as you can see, we have a pounds formula, but we're combining the volume of the aeration basin, which they gave us, as 1.5 million gallons. And the what they call the final clarifier is 0.6 million gallons. So we add those toge together to get our total volume in millions of gallons. Multiply that by the mixed liquor suspended solids, which they gave us, 3,250 milligrams per liter, times 8.34. We then divide that by the target MCRT, 5.5 days. And then we subtract out the pounds per day that are leaving uh, going over the final weir and we use plant flow of 4.2 MGD times that suspended solids concentration leaving the final clarifier which is uh, 22 milligrams per liter times 8.34.
So once we do this math, plug this into our calculator and calculate it out, we'll have our pounds per day of waste activated sludge that's going to the thickener because the problem told us that all of the waste activated sludge is going to the thickener. So when I punch this up, I come up with 9,825 pounds per day. So that's the total that's going to the thickener. Well, the problem has us doing a change in operation. Okay, this is how many pounds per day we're producing that's going to the thickener. But rather than working on a 24-hour, seven-day-a-week cycle, we're going to make a change and we're only going to work eight hours per day. Still seven days a week, so we're going to cram all of this into an eight-hour shift as opposed to expanding it out over 24 hours. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this 9,825 pounds each day, but instead of going per day, I'm going to go per eight-hour shift. And that's also going to be divided by the surface area, which is 475 square feet. So by taking the 9,825 pounds, dividing it by the 475 square feet and the eight-hour shift, we find that our surface, or the solids loading rate, is 2.6 pounds per square foot per hour. And that, my friend, is how this problem is solved.